So despite the rain, the piggy wanted to be outside, so he's outside. In muddy puddles. You stomping in the puddles? Just get my coat. Yeah. You got your wellies on in your coat. Well, that looks fun. Oh, Mummy's going out too. We'll give you a fresh air, huh? Yeah, my baby exercise. Oh wow, you found a lot of water, didn't you, Blake? Oh wow, we. I thought Mummy's out in all of her summer gear. What are you doing, mate? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> are Bye. you okay? Hiya. Bye. He loves it. Look at my dirty windows now. Hiya. We haven't locked him out, by the way. He just closed the door on us. Yeah, that's what we're telling everyone. It's actually his fault. Right, let me out then. Good boy. Yeah. Yeah, say hi, Mama. Hey. Hi. Right, I'm going to use the funnel. <laughs> you can see what, sorry? Hold on, let's put the foot up. Well, I'm already, I'm already filming, sorry. No, holding on here. We're going to use the funnel to put the bird seed in. And let's just see how long this lasts because every day at five o'clock this is full. Yeah. And then by seven it's empty. That's five in the morning and seven in the morning. So in that two hour period something seems to be turning up and taking all the seed out of our bird seed. It's either a squirrel that lives in the big tree of life over there. Or it's a big dirty fat pigeon. That's it, keep going. I always say that if I'm awake at five because of Blake, I'm gonna stay awake and see who it is that's taken all my bird seed. That's enough. Christ. Have I gone too much? Uh-oh. Well, you've done it now, haven't you? Yeah. But yeah, I normally end up going back to sleep instead of staying up and actually seeing who does it. Right, so you can show everybody how full that is and then we'll yeah, so give it's you an update. What time is it? It's like half four, quarter to five now yeah. in the evening. In the morning, that's full to the brim. You having a nice time, Blake? <coughs> Catching the bubbles. Good evening, time has passed. We are in the kitchen because it is dinner time. So, what's for dinner? We have Mayflower curry. Mayflower curry. The easiest, tastiest, tastiest dish you can buy. This is from B&M's, it's a pound. And it looks a bit like this powder. Normally full. And the instructions are on the back. You will need chicken, onion, garden peas, some curry powder, oh, peas are in there. some vegetable oil, and 460 millilitres of cold water. There's more than 460 millilitres of cold water there because I double it up. So what I do is I go to Iceland and I buy a five pounds sliced chicken breast. I defrost it so it's all done nice and easy. Take about 15 minutes and um, it tastes good. So let's get started. So that's a lot of onion cut up. Oh, that's a lot of tears. Oh no. I cry at the best of times, but let alone with onion. I know. Um, 
just don't touch this is without touching my this is that without touching my hair my hair it's true this is without touching my eyes mm. so yes it's the price you pay for a good dinner right so the onions are chopped i've got quite a big pan that i always use big saucepan so i can make loads of this I've already put my rice on. It says the rice takes 15 minutes. Don't ever listen to what it says on the packet when it's cooking rice because it takes double the time. And what I tend to do is use for portion size, and I never really get it wrong, I use a small cup and I do three small cups. And that is enough for me, Jake, um, Matilda and Blake and some left over. So that's plenty. It's normally 75 grams per portion, they say, for rice. Um, I know on the back of some rice, it actually has the notches, so you can actually see it going down, but that's how I do it. And I basically bring it to the boil, then I let it simmer for about 25 minutes. Um, so let's get on with this. Yeah. Right, so have a look at this this beauty onion and chicken so that is now cooked yep and then what you do is turn it off you burn yourself i've got a spare bowl see just clip it into there without burning yourself and then put it back onto the stove mm -hmm. and then measure out in our case we're doubling it up so it is 85 grams of Mayflower curry. We're doing two lots of that, so it's 100, uh, 170 grams of Mayflower curry powder. Put this back on the boil. Put this pan back on. Mm hmm Put in all of your water. Like so. And that'll get all the flavour as well from the onions and the chicken that you fried up. It's always good to have a really big pan. This I think I got it from Tesco years ago. It's a really good pan. I'll do everything in it. Potatoes, boiled potatoes. Get a whisk or a fork, whatever. And then another one of my hacks is I use kitchen roll in my weighing <laughs> scales. Pop this in. Give it a stir. And it doesn't look good at the moment, but it will thicken up as soon as it heats up. So yes, it get, will. Get rid of all the lumps. All the lumps and bumps. Yeah, you go, it's a bit thicker, isn't it? Yeah, so as soon as it comes to the boil, turn it right down because you'll end up with a very thick sauce that's probably going to stick to the pan. So that's turned right down now. So look, can you see that that sauce is nice Super thick. thing, see by the bubbles when they come up. Yeah, it's a lovely thick sauce. What you're going to do is chuck your chicken and onions back in. Give it a mix. And then this, at this point, I add the peas, but you can add that when you're frying them, but they just feel a bit less um, soggy. You know, if you overcook a pea, it doesn't taste great. So I tend to just leave it to the end because this will take 20 minutes to cook, you see now. Like so. Mm, smells gorgeous. Does smell real good. It's probably the nicest smelling thing that we cook in this house. I say we, that you cook in this house. Blake absolutely blinking. Blake does it. love this. It's, it's like favourite meal. I'd have zoomed in then by accident. I didn't mean to zoom in, but... Yeah, so what I, good. what I do is pop the peas in, chuck the lid on it, turn it up slightly so it's on a low heat, and then just let that simmer for 20 minutes. So Dora has been locked away because these two 
cannot play nicely together. So he, she's kept behind bars. Well, or is he kept behind bars? You figure it out. Yeah. So, mummy looks like she's taken stuff off. Well, I say stuff. I mean spoons. Does that mean she's ready to serve? Rice is done. Curry is done. Ooh wee. Let's do the eggs first. Uh, Look at it, isn't it beautiful? What are you drinking with yours anyway? Um, I'm gonna have a gin. Oh, I know. Yeah. I think you're all good with your gin, do you? That's the thing about portion size in this house. Donald likes big portion sizes, don't you? Yeah. Hang on, let's put down the chocolate. When people come for dinner, I like to have plenty. I think I might have a lager. Right, that's yours. Curry and a lager. What more could you want? Curry and a lager, yeah, that's actually quite good, isn't it? Do you want a lager? No, thanks. <laughs> so, the door's just been knocked by the post lady. Jake's excited. I'm very excited. This is it. Oh, well, this, is this could be the one. Wow. What if it's my bird, my um, bird feeders? I don't think it's your bird feeders. Is it? No. Oh. Left hand tangential oven cooker. This exciting times. You know when you get older, when you get excited, because <laughs> cooling fan motor has arrived. Or just cooling fan in general. Scissors. Oh. Whoa. Shiny. So you're going to replace the old one and yep. hopefully we shouldn't have that ridiculous noise. Hopefully, he says. The other interesting thing about this is this cost us £19 from eBay. Yeah. But the official Sanusi website, they wanted £96 plus £10 delivery. Yeah, they so, wanted a lot of money. So we'll see. We will see. So yeah. Got it. Keep you updated on that one. Keep you updated. So we're back we're with back. a very, very annoyed Jake. So I told you before in another vlog that the name Finlay normally means that something goes wrong. What they've done is they've sent us a nice cooling fan with the motor on the side. But in the picture, they showed the, connect the connections being at the front, which is what I need. And they sent one with it at the back. As you can see. Now, I'm not sure whether or not when I open this oven, the connectors will reach around this far. And I'm not sure if I can take this off easily without breaking it. So, we've contacted the manufacturer to see what they can do. Oh. And say what we should do next. Yeah, Finlay Curse has hit the house again. Goodness sake. Why can't things just be straightforward? Right. We'll keep you updated on that. So, I have just finished homeschooling Matilda. It's 12 o'clock. It's lunchtime and we are having a, a lazy lunch. I'm doing leftover curry for me and Jake. I'm having a jack potato, he's having rice. And the kids, I don't think what this looks like. Wow, what have you got? Blake's got a ham and tomato ketchup wrap with a cheese string that he's eaten. Matilda's got a cheese string and she had a ham and ketchup wrap. And you've also got a chocolate snack bar that you like from Aldi, haven't you? And you're watching YouTube, yeah. So we are teaching Matilda personification. And for somebody that didn't do very well at school, I am struggling, but I'm learning as well as Matilda, so it's all fun and games. Jake is now upstairs, he is um, doing some work, and then he's got a couple of meetings to do. The weather is absolutely shocking again. I don't think it's raining, but it doesn't look that great. It looks as if we've had lots of birds in the garden overnight. My next door neighbour took some lovely photos. Um, and what I'll do is get Jake to put them in so you can just see them. So that's quite exciting. We had a squirrel, which we believe is the, the, the culprit um, that's eating these blinking seeds from that bird feeder. 
I've ordered some stuff that is coming, so we'll put that in the vlog. I won't tell you what it is yet, but um, that's quite exciting. So I will check in with you guys later. So before I go, I just wanted to show you the leftovers that we had actually from the uh, curry that we made last night because we doubled up the portion. So it was in this bowl, leftovers, as you saw. So I have managed to portion off some to put in the freezer. And then there is a whole load here that we're having for lunch. So it's made about, I would say, 10 portions, 12 portions out of that. So if you wanted to do like loads of freezing food, this is a great one to do. Just make it up and put it in the freezer. So when you've had a bad day or you can't be bothered, get it out of the freezer, defrost it and then heat up in the evening. Top tip from me. So I decided to make a cake <laughs> and some little cakes. No one told me that Hello Kitty was white with a red bow, so I made her red. When? Wow. Yes, but I didn't. Re I didn't remember. Whatever. Right. So we are just going for a little walk round to the next street because our friends Andy and Natalia have had a little boy, Theo, and we've got some gifts to take round. So we'll just leave them at the front door for them. Um, yeah, we're so pleased. It's really good news considering everything that's happening around us. So, yes, and he is absolutely gorgeous. So we are off round for a walk round there. And we are just getting ready to go. Are we ready? No. Ready, Blake? Blake's off, look. It's going. So we have just got back from our little walk. I'm going to have another day. Till's eating all the cakes and before we went I in my infinite wisdom put a pot of tea on that's right Yay. so it is later on now and we've had a busy day I just wanted you to I just wanted to bring you out into the garden so I could show you how much the birds eat in one day so what was it 24 hours ago that I put this out Dora, stop licking. So that was full to the brim. And look how much is left. There's a lot of birds. Well, I think they're all in that tree. It's like the tree of life, look. So I am gonna go in. I might have a little gin. Blake isn't sleeping. He's not had one sleep today and he's not sleeping now. He's up in the bedroom being naughty. Um, <clears throat> so I'll catch up with you guys later. <laughs>